Welcome to another Three String Cigar Box Guitar Lesson. I'm Sean from Coda Guitar and this is the uh, final lesson, final video in the series looking at sort of banjo influence playing. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit tenuous this one. Uh, there's still definitely quite a few things that are sort of taken from banjo playing but the overall sound is, is a probably much more of a sort of guitar folk kind of thing but um, what, what often happens when people are playing five string banjo is uh, because it's tuned to a chord as we are we're tuned to GDG, so it's like G power chord, uh, that they'll often um, use a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs uh, to the open strings. Um, and, and so there's often, and the, the overall effect is, is quite a, a sort of complicated sound, but it's still a very relaxed way of playing because they're you know often just fretting one note at a time, maybe two notes. Um, you know, so that, that's just a um, little bit of <clears throat> finger picking and, and ju just like, pulling off hammering on from the the open strings and um, you know the the, the overall um, sound is is uh, a lot more it sort of sounds a lot more complex than it actually feels to play once you get used to that style um, so so what we're doing here I'd, I'd say this is um, de definitely uh, not beginner level, um, but you know, if you've been playing a sort of inter intermediate standard, um, th this this could really help sort of pick your playing up, you know. So don't don't get put off. Uh, in some ways, it's easier than the previous one. The the shapes maybe aren't quite so physical, but in other ways, that the rhythmical sort of coordination and, and the rhythmical patterns are a little bit more complicated. Um, but once you get them. Uh, it's, um, it's it's quite easy. Uh, it's, it's quite repetitive. Uh, we just sort of change your positions. So let's tune up. G, D, G. Okay. Uh, so for for oh um, if uh, if you like this lesson, please consider downloading the score. It's uh, very reasonably priced, uh, half price for the first seven days, uh, and the the other uh, three are available as well on the website in this particular series. It's all kind of linked together. Um, so. Um, what we're doing uh, is we're, we're changing the rhythm slightly with the thumb here. So when, when we've been doing finger picking previously, the thumb is, is pretty much always on the beat. So the thumb is just like providing that sort of thump, that like foot tap, um, you know, quite a steady bass line. Here, the pattern is a little bit more uh, co complex. It's, it's just sort of moving across the beat a little bit. So we've got to just feel the thumb as, as part of the, the overall um, pattern in combination with the fingers. Okay, uh, so right at the beginning, uh, I think what I might do is I might just start with... like the uh, non-thumb notes, just, just so we figure out what's happening over the top, and then we'll add the thumbs back in, the thumb plucks in in the gaps. So uh, I'm doing a pull-off on the top string from fret four to the open G. I think I'm gonna, uh, no, I might use finger two actually here. So finger two, pulling off to the open string. Uh, finger three, pulling off to the open string from fret 5 of the middle string and then I'm just going to drop down a tiny little bit and do a hammer on onto fret 2 of the middle string with my first finger so I might go finger 2, 3, then both pull offs, hammer on. Now I can hold that and uh, make it sound a bit more like a chord so for me personally, the, um, the, 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 the the most sort of comfortable hand position is uh, using my fourth finger, my little finger. So if I hold that on, um, it just sort of rings out, and the, the 
if it'll sound a bit smoother. So I'm personally using my little finger to pull off from fret four again, but you can you can use your third if you want, although that's probably a better hand position. You're more likely to be able to maintain the bridge over the strings there. So once you've done that, uh, I'm already on fret two. This is another reason to keep it where it is, and I'm gonna pluck that and pull off. And then I'll do a slide up from four to five, that's all on the middle string. With my third finger, slide up from four to five. So I've got finger two, fret four, fret five, finger three on the middle string. Hammer on with finger one, hold that, little finger, pull off from two, and then slide up. Now, the thumb notes, apart from at the beginning and the end, they uh, are in between. So to start with, there's a pull. It's a thumb together with fret four, pull off, then thumb, pull off from five, thumb, hammer on, thumb. You see the pattern here, the thumb is always going in between, apart from right at the end where we do the slide and we do a, a pick up. Okay, so that's the first bar, so that's right at the top of this um, score, um, bar number one. So pull together, I'll do it from this angle. So finger two, thumb, pull off fret five, thumb, hammer on, Thumb, hold that, pull off, thumb, pull off, together pull these two strings, pluck strings three and two there and then slide up, use this finger. Once you get that sequence, you can uh, you can speed it up a little bit. So Now, um, what, once you get used to that, it's actually, again, easier than it sounds. You know, that, that it, it sounds quite sort of intricate and complex, but it's all just about the exact coordination and um, specific sequences and movements with both hands. Um, that's the pulse, and the thumb is really sort of going across it. So it's... sure if you could um, hear me tap my foot there but I was keeping that pulse and um, the thumbs really moving across uh, initially that's probably quite difficult uh, but that pattern we, we're going to keep that all the way through um, the second bar is almost exactly the same we're just not going to do the slide so we, we, we're just going to make it slightly less complicated at the end and just finish on a thumb so it's just um, There's a repeat there, so uh, that is the, the, the first line. So the first time we finish with a slide, second time don't, just finish with a thumb. So it's the first bar. Second bar. First bar. Right, 
definitely practice that quite a lot. Um, get that really flowing because we're actually just going to pretty much keep this pattern very, very similar all the way through, uh, which can change the chords. So, um, so this is like a, a B minor now, um, and um, we are going to hold the bass with the th third finger. Little finger is going to also be on fret four, so that's fret four of the G, fret four of the high G. And uh, when we need it, not straight away, the first finger is going to come in on fret two of the middle string. So I'm going to try and hold this all the way through uh, without taking the pressure off. So it's together, pull off, thumb, pull off, thumb, hammer on, thumb, pull off, pull off. So that's actually the same pattern. Uh, it, it, it's more difficult in a way because you're having to hold this on so we've really got to work on that that bridge just so we're not catching strings underneath but uh, it is less varied than the first one um, so we've got together pull off on the middle string hammer on pull off on the top string pull off so you're pulling off from fret 4 string 1 pulling off from fret 2 middle string Thumb hammering on, thumb pulling off again from string one, fret four, pull off, thumb. Okay, and then what we're doing is uh, that's uh, we're going up to a, a C, um, but instead of a normal C, we're going to go for a it's called a C major seven, so that's when. Uh, we've got a C and we've got a high B in there as well. It just gives it a sort of soft sound. Uh, so going from this position, I need to just step up with um, fingers one and two because I want to save my third finger. I mean, you can use these three fingers, but it's probably stronger, for e easier to use fingers one, two, and three. So um, I'm just going to do a quick adjustment with fingers one and two and then... So that's just a straight, there's no um, uh, kind of swi switching it around onto uh, hammer-ons, it's all pull-offs here. Pull off, pull off, pull off, pull off, pull off. And then uh, together, in between. So we're just maintaining this C note, keeping that fretted all the way through. So pull with a pull-off. Thumb, middle string thumb, top string, thumb, middle string, thumb, top string. So that's that's very repetitive there, but we've got a practice going from the, uh, the B minor, so pull off, hammer on, pull off, pull off, swap over, pull off, all the way through. So it's just a little break, and then we're going back to the... So, um, the bottom line of the score is, is the same as the, 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 the top one, uh, and then we've got that break in the middle. So I'll, I'll just, just do that. I'm not going to do the repeats, so I'll just do the top line. So it's um, three, four... C back to the first one. Okay, uh, and then there's another uh, chord change, another um, sort of second bridge, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this is going to an A. So if you were to uh, play um, just just a bar on fret two, uh, that would be an A. That's a D. That's that's an A. That's an A seven. Okay, uh, and this is 
some kind of a sus2 um, add nine something like that uh, but overall because we keep pulling off to the open string the overall sound is like an a7 so uh, we're trying to maintain finger one on fret two here uh, and uh, I'm just going to stretch up with me little finger pull off pull off with my so I've got a bit of a wrist adjustment here this might be slightly more difficult than the, the B minor one um, so got this hand position got a tuck in do a hammer on a pull off sorry on the middle string so fret 4 pull off fret 2 on the middle and then hammer on and then pull off on string 4 again and another pull off That's a little bit awkward. Um, again, as with previous lessons, um, talking about not knackering your hand. So uh, stretch it out by all means if you need to. Uh, so this is a pull at the beginning. Thumb, pull off, thumb, hammer on. Thumb, pull off, pull off. What we're doing is we're stepping up to C. So right at the end, um, I'm, I'm going to pick out that B, that fret 4 note. Just pluck that with the open middle D, and it's a nice, a nice little transition up to C. So we've got together. that again and then when we get up to C this time we're going to do like a little brush where you, 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 you play with a couple of fingers at the same time and um, this is pretty repetitive as well we're just we're just doing um, Pull off followed by hammer on and it's the same cross rhythm with the thumb so together to start with so together to start with pull off thumb hammer on thumb pull off thumb hammer on thumb pull off finish with the thumb So each time I'm just doing a brush here, picking. Um, so practice these um, individually, these these two bars, but um, here they are together. So together, at the beginning, a, th uh, a pull, thumb, sorry, it's a uh, pull off to start with. Step up and then brush, pull off, Pull off, hammer on. Back to the uh, the the G sort of sequence. So uh, let's just try. I'm going to go from the G sequence into this second break and back to the G again. So I'll go from the G sequence once into the A7 into the C back to the G. So we've got G. This is the last time. Then step up C. So and then back to Um, yeah, so um, in this this final one, uh, it's actually potentially quite difficult to maintain those bridges because that's it's quite quite awkward. Um, C is always a bit of a stretch. Pe people do moan about C quite a lot, uh, and it is a stretch. But unfortunately, with this um, what's pretty standard um, 
three string tuning uh, it's a very very useful chord so you, you know you've got to try and wrap your fingers around it the best you can basically um, and then and that's it um, so you've got the main G groove uh, you've got the first break which is from B minor to C major 7 and then it's back to the G groove and then you've got the second break which is like A, A7 to normal C and then back to the G groove Okay, and hopefully you, you can hear that the, the, the rhythm is uh, is very similar all, all the way through that. Um, and, and so once you've got that first one, um, it, it, it's quite difficult in some ways holding on the, the, the bass note for the, the B and the, the A chords. You've got to like sort of work, work round with your other fingers. And so if you've done those other lessons, if you've looked at those, um, hopefully there's some independence of movement developing. And so it makes it easier to be able to keep a bass note planted and work round it. Uh, that's something that happens a lot in, in songs. So um, yeah, it'll definitely be helpful. Um, but I'll just run round it once and you can just hear it in total. I'm not going to bother repeat. So on the score, each time we go back to this G riff, uh, there's, there's a repeat. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll just um, do a slightly shorter version. So three, four. C major 7 and then G and then step up back to G Probably even slower than that to start with, uh, but uh, but yeah, great. So I hope that's um, useful, and um, that concludes our uh, banjo influence playing. Like I said, it's a little bit more sort of folky sound in this one, but th there are definitely some techniques that are like a sort of cro crossover um, style between the two instruments. And um, please check out the score. Um, check out the website, there's a whole bunch of scores for quite a lot of the lessons that are on the, uh, the channel, YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, I think it's probably time to be looking at something different in the next few lessons. So uh, we shall see you here again soon on Code Guitar. <laughs>